against the New York Yankees in that series and last night beating Zach Gallen and the Diamondbacks. Austin Slater leading off. Fromber by far the best. And there's the first ground ball today. Jeremy Pena diving stop. Could not quite get enough on that throw. What a play just to keep it. Ground ball to short. Fromber last year had 25 double plays turned behind him and has his fifth of the season this year in his seventh start. That was Taylor made. He needs to get back on that rubber and get after it. Swing and a miss. He got him to chase that breaking ball. He strikes him out for the fifth time in his career, all on curveballs. Breakout number he is up to 10.37 strikeouts per nine. And with that high ground ball percentage that he does have, that bottom line is interesting too. One and one to Mauricio Dubon, who chops one towards third. Backhanded by Davis. Nice play, but no chance to get enough on the throw to get Mauricio Dubon. So both offenses start with an infield hit tonight. Have a Minute Maid Park home run. Ground ball slowly hit towards short. Could be two. This is a mirror image of the first inning. Out at first base if Lamont Wade Jr. stayed on the bag. Jose Altuve is putting his hands up. Jordan changes things here. Oh, he does. He doesn't strike out like the Giants did to end the inning with Mitch Hanniger. In fact, wow. Jordan has the base hit. That ball was in the air a long time. I just assumed somebody was going to get there, especially with that short wall in left field. Teen homestand. He's down in the count here, 0 and 2. And ropes one past Estrada into left center field. Jordan thought about going first to third, but he puts on the brakes. Third hit of the inning for the Astros against Logan Webb. Tucker hooks one to the right side, played by Wade Jr., who will get to the bag ahead of Tucker for the final out of the inning. So three hits, but probably one of the larger run differentials I've seen on that. Fromber came back and made a better pitch right there to get J.D. Davis locking him up with that two-seamer on the inside. Flatten out a little bit, and you'll lose some of that sink that you call it when you throw that two-seamer. But the interesting thing is he's still getting 65% ground balls. We'll see how it goes the rest of this Ball game today, you get the start, swing and miss on a cutter there. Swing and a miss, and that'll do it for Pena here to start the second inning. Yes. He knew exactly what he wanted to do last night. That's off the end of the bat. It's going to stay fair, and through the legs of Lamont Wade Jr., and Myers is going to end up on second base. That ball had a little English, but Jake Myers reaches second on a ball that went through the legs of Lamont Wade Jr. Scoring position here with one out in the second. Ground ball to short. Playable for Estrada. And that's the second out. We had a. That's off the plate. Maldi flips the bat away and he'll draw a walk. The San Francisco Giants, you'd like to have him get one right here, but that slider beats him. Yep, and Dubon knows Logan Webb well. He kind of looks out there, Logan. At road trip. That is longer, a 10 gamer. In late June and early July, as Fromber strikes out the yard. That's four strikeouts for Valdez of the first seven batters. Yep, me too. I'm, I'm kind of proud of her for being able to do that. This ball, speaking of LSU, grounded right to <laughs> the LSU Tiger, Alex Bregman, for the second out. Certainly not a nine hitter this year for the Giants. He's normally up in the top spot of the lineup, and his OPS with that walk now running out at zero. And you can't just call time to save your pitcher. Fromber. Looks a little bit hesitantly as he watches that pitch induction. And we, when he got to 2000, we thought that was the key for him getting to the Hall of Fame. And then just that first World Series title capped it off. And do everything he can to get back on the field as quickly as he can. That is a absolute rocket. And Jordan would have had a hit probably 90% of the time. Pez is over there with him too. They're just going through their pregame usual routine. Get down. Fly out to left for Jose Abreu, but I was kind of looking down on the field and saw Jose Altuve. Base hit up the middle. Watching Jose Altuve field some ground balls, but then I was surprised to see him flipping the ball to Omar Lopez like his kind of fight through it, and that thumb guard is actually what saved me, and I just got used to using it. It's just another piece of equipment. Yeah, it was just another. It became a part of my swing, actually. Off and on Martin Maldonado, and now we're seeing Yiner Diaz get in on the action. Oh, if Robert fielded it cleanly, he might have had two. He still might wow. have two. What a recovery. Look at Robert all smiles coming off the mouth. Absolutely ideal, especially when he starts a double play. We've been 
actually, you know, we, we take some extra time and we work on his PFP because he do gets a lot of ground balls when he's pitching. No doubt about it, man, his presence. You know, this guy's been in the biggest battles, you know, who's Sir Astros, you know, the last, you know, seven, eight years since I've been here. You know, May not have ever gotten to that spot that he will be having got all oh. this playing time. Jake Myers sends one high in the air to center field. Joe, we just had one of the quickest half innings Unbelievable. of the year. We'll, Sorry, we'll talk to you on the plane. Yeah. Six and seven do up for the Giants. Another ground ball. This one to Pena's right. His throw in time by Plenty. Yeah, what's his favorite nickname? <laughs> yeah, let him <laughs> figure it out. Oh, you've got to give that one to yeah, him. Yeah, he did. Yeah, 97. Conforto was hoping. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, if only I could have been a part of that. Nice. Swing and a miss. That's eight. La Grasa. La Grasa. Two ground ball pitchers has been scoreless through four and a half. Another one chopped up the middle. Played there by VR. And his throw is low. And David Hensley is going to reach. 3-2 count his first time up. And called third strike. Maldonado sees two pitches in that at bat. Runner on the go again. Dubon puts it in place. Later to his left. Hensley is past second base. Didn't see where the ball was. And he will get doubled up easily. So Dubon put it in play. And Hensley did not pick up where that ball was. Three for his last 21. This one, a punch shot into right center field. It's probably going to find some open grass and does not hit hard. But Joey Bart has the third hit of the game for the Giants. Ending numbers across the board for Fromber Valdez. Lamont Wade down to bunt. Fromber on it in a hurry. He looked at second, thought about it, but chose to take the. That ball the other way for a base hit. And being waved around third is Bart. Tucker's throw is not in time. Into second base goes Slater. The Giants score the first run. It is 1 0 on the second RBI of the season for Slater. Draw to the batter. Runner on the go, and no chance for Maldonado. That stolen base was against Fromber. Fromber did not pay enough attention to Slater. He pick up. A little bit low, ball four. That'll be the second walk allowed by Valdez. Field here with Hanniger batting instead of the strikeout. Runner on the go and a ground ball towards short under the glove of Pena into center field. Hanniger knocks in a run, scoring is Slater. Estrada, who is on the move, goes first to third. So the Giants lead this game two to nothing. That ball hits Fromber and it's on the ground. Dubon to Pena and they turn a double play. That hit Fromber. He's kind of ticked off anyhow about how that inning went. Then he gets hit by that line drive, and it's a 1 4 6 3 double play. Had to throw a lot of pitches in that sixth inning. Alex grounds one towards the hole. JD Davis cuts in front. That one is picked by Lamont Wade Jr. Having to get angry to pitch his best. <laughs> and it seems like Fromber's at his best when he's loose and joking around and having fun. When he gets angry, sometimes that frustration carries over. Little tapper back to the mound. And the Astros go down quietly here in the six, two, three, and four, retired in order. But the spin has been what has really benefited him. And there you go again right there. The curveball's been devastating. He's created a ton of swing and miss. And he just feels it looks like he's pitching with so much confidence. That ball rushed against Conforto and it's going to be a hit by pitch. This ball looped in the left field. Jordan has the beat on it. He'll put it away. That's the second out of the innings. Joey Bart on a 1-0 pitch delivers deep to left center field. That will be one hopped against the wall. Jordan was waiting for the bounce off the wall. Never got it. Instead, Jake Myers has to get the ball back in. That is the first hit for a right-hand hitter against Phil Maton this year. And it turns out to be an RBI double. Again today after being shut out last night. This one's a slow ground ball to Abreu who will take care of it himself. The Giants get a two out RBI double by Joey Barth, their number eight hitter. Match it can work for the Astros today. It didn't work last night. Tucker sends one to right field. Pretty well hit, but getting over there and making a nice running catch. Michael Conforto. Tucker making a bid for extra bases, but he's retired. Seems as far as records are concerned, and now you have the San Francisco Giants coming in on a four game skid. A lot of swings and misses for that San Francisco Giant team. And you yeah, the crazy part is, too, the Giants came in coming off a tough 
leg of the road trip in Mexico City. Jake Myers makes a bid deep to right field, but Conforto in front of the wall puts it away. Go way up. Totally agree. Austin Slater leads off against the new pitcher, Seth Martinez, in the game for the Astros. And his first pitch is sent into right field. Kyle Tucker backs up and makes the play. One pitch and one out for Seth here in the eighth. Too much losing Yaz and Crawford out of that lineup. Those are two big bats. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for Martinez. Two away in the inning. Get back in the dugout. Ground ball towards Bregman's backhand on two hops. Alex's throw in time. Good inning for Seth Martinez. One, two, three, getting the top of the order at. Inside ball four. That is the second walk allowed by Logan Webb. That's a line drive base hit to right. Astros have two on here to start the eighth inning. Logan Webb allows his first hit since the first inning. That seems to be their M.O. Ground ball towards short. Two big hops and trouble for the Astros. That's a double play. Dubon on the first pitch. Hits into a twin killing. With something positive. It's been a tough stand for him as he drives one deep to left field. That ball is gone. His first home run at Minute Maid Park this year. Makes it a one-run game. A breggy bomb to left. Greggy finally with some home cooking. Got a hanging change up and wrecked it into the Crawford boxes. That will be the last pitch Logan Webb throws today. Bregman knew with Jordan on deck in a three run game, they had to come to him on a 1 0 pitch. And he hits it out. His fourth home run of the year and his first year of Innovate Park in 2023. It's a big one. It's now a one run game. Astros just waiting to figure out Logan Webb and he hung a change up to Alex Bregman who went into absolute launch mode did a great job of keeping the hands back and driving through that baseball as he punished that baseball into the Crawford boxes. 386 foot home run for Alex Bregman first of the year here at Minute Maid Park. I know my triplets will be happy about that. So we appreciate Alex. His first time up. And he goes down on three pitches here to Alexander, who strikes out Jordan to end the eighth. Doesn't get the whiff here. The ball's put in play pretty deep to right field. All the way back, Tucker at the warning track puts it away. J.D. Davis, who was Milo Doval last night. It was the top of the order that faced Doval. This ball hit hard to left field, and that ball is gone. Into the first row of the Crawford boxes. Big insurance run for the Giants. Wilmer Flores connects against Brian Abreu for a solo shot to make it 4 2 San Francisco. Just enough to get out into the first row of the Crawford box. Just a line drive on a slider that just stayed on the middle part of the plate. Wilmer Flores put a quick jolt into that one. Line drive just getting over that yellow line, 21 degree launch angle. Four or more home runs already. Swing and a miss. There's that whip percentage that we like to see from a Brayu. Through Conforto, a 99 mile an hour fastball, and he goes with another 99er to end the inning as he strikes out wisely. Up high, ball four. The Astros have the tying run to the plate with Kyle Tucker. Swing and a foul tip. Tucker goes down on strikes. So ball at 101 picks up his first strikeout. Three last night looking for his first hit today. That one gets away. That'll advance a Abreu. So double play will be taken off the board as the wild pitch advances Jose to second. Chopper towards third. Nice shorthand pick and the off balance throw. Nicely done by J.D. Davis. Ground ball towards third. J.D. Davis gobbles it up. His throw is in time to get Myers and that will do it for the Astros in the ninth inning. The Astros lose two out of three to the Giants after winning the first game on Monday, and they go two and four on this homestand. 
as they drop this game four to two. Astros post game show presented by Whataburger. Vanessa Richardson and Clay Hensley will be your host today. Julia Morales will gather interviews in the Astros clubhouse. You'll hear from Dusty Baker as well. All that coming up on the Astros post game show presented by Whataburger right around the corner.